Hi, welcome to uh, Bridge North PC Rail Heritage Simulation Series. Uh, it's Russell Ashmore again. I'm just going to go through a few of the moves on the demo version just to show you one of the easiest ones, or probably not, I don't know, I'll leave that for you to decide, of the uh, semaphore type signaling simulations. Uh, this was requested by John, so. Uh, have gone right from the complicated ones to a nice single line terminus. I'll start it running and I'll explain things as I go along because there's quite a lot of time in between trains due to the running time. I've set my bells as per menu item and I've got the uh, skill level set to 6. I've got the sounds on as well. So most people most railway enthusiasts will be familiar with Bridge North, of course it's the northern terminus of the Seven Valley Railway. Originally it was a through a through station. The line used to carry northwards through a tunnel and then through Telford and perhaps not Telford, I'm not sure where it went. Build was somebody will tell me where it went. I'll have a look on the map next time. Right, so Bridge North is a terminus we've got obviously two platforms which you can use for incoming and outgoing trains uh, we've got a uh, crossover at the end to release the locomotives to run round a couple of sidings the boiler shop the carriage sidings this is operated through a ground frame which is released by 26 uh, we've got uh, connect right, let's, uh, turn the volume down a bit Right, we've got a class 2 train offered from Hampton Load. The line is clear to the clearing point. So I can accept that train. Uh, this this is a it's like absolute block instrument, but it's representing a a single line tires key token machine. You've probably seen these red machines with keys in. Uh, basically for a train to be on a single line We've got additional protection, obviously, to stop trains. Uh, basically, to stop two trains being on the same single line at the same time. So each driver of the train must carry a key token. There's only one token available at any one time out of the machine. You can't get another one out until you've put one in, and that's when the train's either gone through or it's come back and the train's been cancelled. So the signals are still locked by the block or by the, the token instrument and the act of uh, withdrawing a token should release the signal for one one pull only so it's up to the driver to make sure he's got the correct token for the correct section before he leaves obviously when you've got um, the crossing loop and you've got uh, you've got a section either side of it you've got two different you've got two token machines basically in your signal box so you'll need to make sure which which is a great one obviously to give to the driver uh, they've got like a shape so you can't put the wrong uh, token in the wrong instrument anyway he's stopped to amp to load I'll just cover this clearing point and the outer ohm number one signal how to ohm quite an important one that uh, this clearing point is probably about 400 yards beyond that signal which is this position here which is also situated in front of 22 signal which is the advanced starter on the up so this is quite an important placement and, and outer arms are used quite a lot on single lines at busy locations and obviously Bridge North you've got trains running round and changing change uh, changing locos and all sorts of things like that so without that out of home basically once I've accepted a train I wouldn't be able to do any shunting or moving the points or anything but because we've got the out of home you're basically pushing that clearing point back to allow you to do these moves in but it allows you to use this section here this track circuit T01 anyway better acknowledge that. Let's have a look where he's going to go. So we've got to 2H02, he's going to go into platform 1, detach his engine as 
0802 and then he goes into the yard for water so let's get this uh, route set up obviously the points aren't in the clearing point again so we can set that later on before or after we've set, accepted the train so we've got a facing point lock on 11 we can change the points 12 and then we can lock them again facing point locks 11 and 13 um, obviously when you've got trains passing your trains going over a facing point the points need to be in the correct position and also physically locked so they don't move from underneath the train there's quite a tight tolerance on the facing point lock if it's not uh, if the points aren't up correctly you won't be able to get the lock in then you won't be able to get the signal anyway let's uh, clear the signals for this train so we can clear the out home number one and we can clear the next signal number two now then this bracket signal here you notice quite a few signals on there uh, we've got ten to go into the yard five is the home signal to go into the number two platform and two is the main signal to go into the number one platform we've also got these small signals at the bottom six and three now these are what, what are called calling on signals uh, which basically means what they say they're calling on to a train so if this platform was occupied by coaches or another loco or anything or in these track circuits would be lit this would lock the own signals the only signal you could clear is the calling on six and three this would then tell the driver he is calling on to a train to expect something in the platform it's not clear so he would adjust his speed accordingly and uh, proceed at caution right the uh, this signal number 4 and 18 this is a uh, great western used to use this a lot and this is a great western railway layout of course uh, this is a route indicator signal so when you clear the signal a little stencil used to appear mostly yeah there was mechanical as well I mean they're electronic now but there's mechanical slides and it used to move a uh, a letter or number into a into a box so I'll do an example if we wanted one into the carriage sidings I'll cover these track points later I need 19 now if I clear 18 you see we've got a little the letter C which obviously means carriage sidings <laughs> So not 18. Of course, if we've got 29 points across, which we can't clear because 3 will be locking that to provide a bit of an overlap in case the signal's passed. Uh, I'll just show you that. So, if we've got 29 across and 27, of course, we could then clear number 4, which should show H. Uh, trap points anytime you've got points from sidings going to a main line unless you've got a protecting crossover as pair 14 anything running away from the yard will just go into the edge shunt but from Molly Bush Road and carry sidings we've got these trap points it's better to derail a, a runaway than to allow it crash into a passing train of course so I'll put 19 back right where's this train now have I mentioned this the distance signal course coming into the station is not controlled by a lever it's what you call a, a fixed distance so it's displaying caution all the time so if the driver sees the distance of caution which he always will of course if it's fixed it's just to it's just to give him sufficient distance in case is to expect the next signal at danger so he can adjust his speed accordingly if we had something shunting here or up into this track circuit which we can of course we've still got a clear point then the driver would need to slow down and obviously stop at number one let's have a look at the skill level I'll just speed it up a bit as I say these uh, it's about a 15 minute running time from Hampton Load to uh, Bridge North so there's quite a lot of uh, lot of gaps long gaps
I thought, I need to cover this ground frame, I'm not sure. 26 is the release for the ground frame. Then you can operate the points and the signals to go in and the signals to come out. To release the ground frame, you need to put the points back normal, of course, and then you can release the ground frame. Right, we've got the train coming in into the station. So uh, once it's come to a stand and terminated, we can uncouple the loco running through platform two and uh, drop him into the yard. Do to arrive at 0800. They usually seem to arrive two or three minutes early. For some reason on this timetable. I'm just going to. No, I better leave it at level seven. Right, we can uh, replace the after home signal behind the train. The line's clear to the clearing point we could send out a section, except to be realistic of course, we can't send the train out in section until two things, well three things, the line's clear to the clearing point, the, uh, the train's arrived and you've collected the single line token, off the driver which you need to put in the instrument before you can send or as you send out a section and we need to ensure the train is complete with tail lamp so where the box is situated I'll put the two back, we can go out collect the token from the driver the guard will telephone us or indicate somehow that the train is complete with tail lamp and then we can send out a section Yeah, usually uh, if the if the train does not pass the signal box, of course you can't see the tail lamp. So there's uh, there's usually a, a, what they call a tail lamp telephone, and I'm sure there's one at Bridge North where the guard will get out of the train, check he's got the tail lamp, and ring up the signal box and tell him his train's complete. And then when that's happened and he's got the token, then he can send out a section. Right, well wait, he's he's arrived two or three minutes early. Now we're going to uh, run this train round so we can get the route set. So we need 29 crossover and we need these points at the far end put in back. So 12 is now normal. We've left the facing point lock back because it's not required for non-facing movements. This is trailing movement. So we should be able to clear the signal I can just try that. Yep, signal T. Right now he's terminated, so we need to. Now for train control, you can either use the top menu and couple, or I tend to use the right click on the mouse and click on uncouple. Click on loco, and uh, we need to change that. It always defaults to the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then he leaves at 08.05 so he's actually got a departure time so he goes down here back through number two platform behind the gantry and then into the yard for water we've got another train due to arrive at 8.23 which is the 7.10 from Kidderminster which is being offered at this very moment now we need to move this loco before he gets in, but it's not it's not actually due to arrive till eight twenty three. So it's 
offered us quite clearly but we can accept this uh, because we've got plenty of time to do this move yeah, he's offered him quite early I suppose he's he's offered it as he's leaving the next box in rear of him which I'm not sure which that box is is it um, highly not sure anyway this one's due to depart but we need to get him ready so again we we need the trap points 27 sitting straight and then we need number four and we've got the H right now if we don't use the shunt 2 command again we use the right click and then 28 which is the group of signals there he will actually go right down to buffer stops then to get him back we need to release the ground frame so he could clear this signal otherwise he'd be stuck behind there which I've done many times so he's stopping behind 28 uh, we've got a group of signals on top of each other if you remember it's top left bottom right so 30 is the signal to come across the crossover 28 is the signal to go into number two platform which is the one we need so he's now stopped at the signal I can put four back put 29 back and we can give the signal which is 28 notice sometimes I use the lever frames which you should always use of course with a duster and sometimes I use the the layout and click on the signals uh, you've got the choice of both that is uh, I suppose it's properly proper to use the lever frames. Right, we can clear 23 as well. Again, we don't want him travelling down all the way to 22. Although it's not too far, it's probably still quite a way. So we uh, click on right, click again, shunt two, and we want to stop at number two. Right, we've got train intersection from up to load. He's just leaving up to load. So it'll be another 15, 10, 15 minutes before he arrives. So we say there's plenty of time. That's the reason for this out home and the clearing point where it is. Uh, we can get these signals, reset those signals. So we can put 28 back. The traps. They normally leave the signals off when they're passing over points which is as per the rule book and that's to prevent you pulling the points up underneath the train of course although if it's track circuited that will also uh, stop me doing that right so he's, he's held at number two let's get him inside so we need the, the lock on 13 pull 14 lock on with 13 and we also probably need the lock this time on 11. Let's try it without the lock, see if it works. So it will be number 10. No, it needs the lock. So we need to clear the lock. Obviously it's a facing move. So now we can clear 10. And off he goes inside the yard. Meanwhile we've got this uh, passenger train coming towards us. Now this one obviously goes into... Uh, platform 2 since platform 1's already occupied you need to bear in mind with the terminus if you've got trains arriving um, like this one you need to get this locomotive off the train and out the way before you let the other one in otherwise you're stuck there's no way you can get this loco released which is okay if you've got spare locos which are going to come on and take it away but in this case just follow the instructions, follow the guides and notes. It tells you where the locos needs to go. The only other signal I don't think I've mentioned is uh, is number seven, which is obviously just straight into Olibush Road, which needs 27 pulling as well. Uh, we've got 20 and 21, which are, are calling alarms 
going the other way which is unusual normally it's into a platform but we've got 2021 20, I can't see these being used much the only time you would use those signals if you've got something standing at 22 and you needed to uh, run another locomotive up behind it and then into the siding or yard so it's to indicate that there's something basically ahead of the section again ahead of the signal and in the in the section right let's put 10 back and we need to get these points set so both points can be unlocked both points can be moved no I don't need 12 reverse there we go he's coming into platform 2 so point just check the route set up these points so everything's everything's set up now for platform 1 right there's no other movements required till that one's coming out of the yard so we can now clear the signals for this incoming train so we can clear the outer home number 1 and number 5 is the signal into platform there's no worry about the drivers missing the distance signals off of course because they are as I say they're fixed so we, we would be expecting it to be a caution he's due to arrive at 8.23 so it's going to be very early and we'll have to look at the timings of this one Right, so what happens to him in platform 2? Terminate platform 2, detach engine as OK09, OK09, which is this one, 846 into the yard. Again, another one goes in for water. But there's a few movements in between we need to deal with first. We've got one coming out the yard, which is a light engine to Kidderminster, so he basically comes straight out the yard. And then we've got another one coming three minutes later, which is the engine for the train in platform one, which is 2H03, of course, which is that one which came in earlier. That's why this this loco can't leave till 846 because that one's in the way. Train's coming up to the uh, to open that. It's a maximum speed usually of 25 miles an hour on a preserved railway uh, unless uh, exemptions apply which I think sometimes they do on the Great Central Right, the uh, passengers breaking, breaking for the station. It's clear of number one signal, so we can pull that back. Again, it's a few minutes early. Signalman can uh, go across behind the back of this train. It must be a 
probably a walkway or something for him to go across there and collect the uh, token off the driver it gets confirmation from the guard it's complete we can put the arm signal back and we can send out of section right, I've got time compression on so it might uh, might be on I'm not sure if the train is terminated uh, it usually takes a couple of minutes before it uh, describes into the next train which is 2k10 and then the time compression all going yeah can't I can't uncouple the loco until it's changed all I can do is a shunt to move which I don't want to do all right so the next move we've got is the uh, light engine from the from the yard straight through onto the main so we can set these points ready so we need the lock we need the points to lock in first pull the crossover do we need 13? well let's try it no we don't so quite correctly interlocked this layout so we don't need the lock it's a trailing it's a yes a trailing move over the over this end obviously this end doesn't need the facing point lock because it's a siding it's only when you've got uh, passenger trains involved right so he's, he's now changed so we can uh, use the uh, shunt the train control menu uncouple loco now he needs to be changed to OK09 okay, so we'll type that in and he departs at 8.46 so he's, he's there quite a while if he went here yeah, we've got a, the loco request from yard you always get a request from uh, off locations like the boiler shop or the yard so we, we said yes that's just in case you're making a conf conflicting move right he is uh, He's coming out of the yard obviously in real life we would have to walk all the way across there to give him the, the token of course and then we can clear number 15 uh, we can then get the train offered enough on the way so it's a light engine so let's click on the bell his line clear class not two three and that will then release the starters advanced starter 22 that's the white stripe on that lever indicates it's locked until the token is released or obtained which we need permission from Hampton Load to do so so we we know the line's clear up to there now if this train uh, he could actually move earlier because he could actually stop behind 1328 wait for this train to go I'll leave him till his book time because it uh, if I use shunt 2 yes it might upset he might say his schedule's missed because he's left at the incorrect time right so he is off on his way he's left the yard local on his own we can reset these signals so I can put 15 back put the points back to normal and we'll get these locked as well so we don't forget them is now entering section it's gone beyond the section signal so we need to train send a train into section right so we've got another one do out the yard oh I put these yard points back and I didn't need to silly me making making myself hard work for no reason at all so we can accept the train from the yard we need to put 22 back of course then I've got to move these points again uh, and then this loco where's he going he's going on to platform one so we can clear 15 again of course we've still got one going away from us but we're not going beyond 22 so there's not a problem uh, we can then use the shunt 2 to number 2 signal as you say there's just one signal listed but it's, it's basically this bracket signal here it's 
So there's one or two things happening at the same time. So it's uh, it's an interesting one with it being a gala timetable as well. Obviously, if it's just a, a one train, you know, a midweek service with just two or three trains running, it to uh, be very quiet. Right, he's coming out of the yard. And as I say, he's going to take quite a while before he gets to uh, to have to load. And we've got this one due to depart at 8.45. Right, it's stood at number two, so let's put 15 back. Cross over. Oh, lock them as well. Right, so he's going into platform one, so we need these points. So unlock 12. 12 reverse. Lock again. Now, this is where we need the calling on signal. I'll just. If we cleared number two, it won't clear because it knows this, this track circuit is locking locking that signal at danger so again we use the calling on signal I'm just checking his correct yeah it shunt to platform 1 so we need the calling on which is number 3 and the driver knows there's coaches or something ahead of him and since he came off that train earlier you can see so it's uh, a drop down hill there as well so he just needs to roll down nice and gently what he'll do in real life is stop short of his train uh, ensure there's somebody there to greet him onto his train guard or shunter and then he'll uh, he'll signal him onto the train buffer buffer up basically and then the, tell him he's actually going under which is obviously dangerous the driver will put his brake on the guard or shunter will go underneath and couple all the firemen sometimes do it of course couple the coaches onto its train and they put the vacuum brakes or air brakes on pipes and they're ready to go so he's uh, he's terminated now so he probably won't couple automatically right, that's okay so we can put the call in and signal back everything so we've got this one on his way to to Kidderminster so we're waiting for out of section from uh, Ampton Lower for that one and then we've got this one goes in platform one so once he's you know, he's once he's uh, out of section we should be able to increase the time a little bit. Ah, here we are. Look, it's, it's changed to 001. So we need to attempt to proceed. Buffered up again to couple. So it's quite a. Sometimes you might. The reason they've done it like this is that sometimes you're moving engines onto trains which aren't necessary for that train so if they couple automatically then you've got to uncouple and mess about so they've done it like this so the train terminates then you tell it to proceed and then finally couple There, so he's coupled up and obviously he's disappeared, he's now part of that train and the loco is shown there. Great Western's 060 saddle tank plus four coaches, so it's a nice little proper branch, branch train. Right, I'm still waiting for him to clear the section. We've got plenty of time, so we've got a few minutes to uh, put the kettle on. And nip down to the station for a bacon butty.
there we go so this one's now at Tiley uh, we can I know it's the outer section. The section is now unoccupied, there's nothing in it. So the next one is 8.45, so let's get the old speed time. It's just gone up four minutes, you see, so we've got one leaving at 8.45. So we need to offer this train on. So it's class two, is line clear. Oh, mail coming on. Um, so we've got that offered, we'd obviously take the token out to the driver and we can clear 24 and 22 and it's uh, on his way straight away now while he's going of course we've got this one departing at 8.46 this is the light engine to the yard which we can then run through this platform one which will be clear shortly. Right, we can set this set this route up so we've got 27 for the trap points and 7 again is started so I'm going to straight away use the shunt to command which I can't for some reason here that's Ah, it's don't always come on straight away. There we go. He needs to probably go past that signal for a little while before the shunt two comes on. So anyway, he's going to stop behind twenty eight thirty. That's eight coaches in platform two, and we can send train entering section, of course, which can be easily forgot because uh, it's two or three minutes after leaving the station and then 22 can be replaced behind it right he's now standing at 28 of course there's no track circuit so it's disappeared we need to obviously put we've left 24 off as well which we should have put back first of course so now we can put 7 back get the crossover over 29 and then 30 should bring us across the crossover the top end points are already set they reverse so we don't need to move those well this time table is actually going to go on quite a while but uh, it runs for two hours the demo version does from about 7.40 the first arrival's 8 so I'll run it to about 9.40 or something suitable just to give you a good idea how long it takes right so he's into we can now clear 24 signal and then again we can use a shunt to to stop behind signal 2 you can reset this bottom end as well so 30 points back 29 and the traps 27 and it's breaking at the uh, signal gantry so we can put 24 back and now we can set the route into the yard so both these points can be unlocked 12 14 then get the points locked again and then the signal number 10 go inside the yard so the next move then we've got out of section for that one, he's gone into the yard, we've got one from the yard he's got a bit of shunting with the class 8 shunter and one coach so they've obviously repaired a carriage in the yard and they're going to take it to the carriage siding right, so he's coming out the yard, behind the gantry straight through there 
and then the light engine the light engine is uncoupled and he goes back as OS90 back into the yard all, all clear inside so that's uh, 10 back do we need to change anything now because the next moment is from the yard so we leave all the points set as they are Unfortunately, you can't uh, you can't increase the speed or quick time events while there's a train on the layout, and as I say, it's 10-15 uh, minutes to get tamped and lowered. So again, you've got a little gap here, which I'll try and uh, edit out if uh, it's easy enough to do. Although he's going to be coming out of the yard in a few minutes, so. Probably won't advance that much. Request from yard. Please just come on. Accept train from yard. Yes, we can do that. Right, he's plinked in. So I say this is this shunting a coach into carry silence so we can clear the signal 15. We've got the points set from the previous move. Uh, again, stop him going down to 22. We can use the shunt 2 to the number 2 signal. Out of section from up to load for the passenger train, which we can accept. Train's uh, gone behind number two and held back there, held there, so I can put 15 back. Uh, leave 14 for now. I'll lock 12, lock 12, or reverse 12 and lock them again. And then he's coming straight into carry siding so we can clear signal 2. So this loco leaves the carriage sign is at 8 minutes past 9 and there's next arrival uh, from up to load on the down is 9.23 terminating platform 1 they've already got stock in platform 2 
which is the 10.30 departure. Right, so he's coming down into the platform. We can put uh, number two signal back. Now we can set the uh, set the points. 29 is obviously in the right place. 19 is the traps, which we need. And then 18 is the signal into the carriage sidings. There's no other movement uh, requiring these crossovers or anything, so we can leave leave the leave try 19 as they are. If it was in there for quite a long time and we'd need needed this crossover, obviously we'd have to put the trap points back to normal. Right, he's breaking. He's terminated in the siding. We can put this uh, 18 signal back. Wait for him to terminate and then uncouple the, the loco then this one the loco is straight back into the yard just a little shouldn't move the uh, author's put in just to uh, fill in the gaps I think really between these uh, arrivals and departures I should imagine it gets quite hairy if you're looking through the timetable later on. Mm, even one down at the edge, of, so yeah, there's uh, it's quite a busy, busiest place. There, so the uh, empty stock is redescribed. So I need to uncouple the loco. So it's right click, uncouple. Um, it's obviously knows it's only loco there. So I need to change the default to OS9. So type that in, it'll pick it up straight away. Depart 0906. So the time compression won't work at the moment. Well, time compression I've got set all the time. Right, oh crikey, these are offered 90 minutes, aren't they, before they do. So, yes, there's, there's line clear for class 2. He's going into platform 1. Obviously, we've got this locomotive to get out of there first. But, we can accept this. The line is clear to the clearing point. Right, he's due to depart in a minute, so we can set the we can clear the signal to come out the side at least. So we're doing 25. When he starts moving, I can set uh, the other signals off. There's no there's no rush. These shunty moves, not not at this speed anyway. He's actually just coming in time to load. So he departs Hampton Load at 0908 and arrives at 0923. This has also departed at 0908 which is the light engine back to the yard. So you should just see him appear on this track circuit shortly. Give him the, the station starter to go up to the advanced starter again. I use the shunt to 
stop it going too far these are now clear so 25 can go back plus the traps that's all reset ready the points are set into the yard they've not been moved so they are ready we just need to put these back Drainage section from up to lower these just done is just left. So I've got quite a while yet. No, there's no rush. Right now he's going to stand. I'll just show you uh, what happens if you forget. I've, say I forget to put the signal back 24. You go to the points to unlock it, which obviously you can. But when you try and put them normal, they are physically locked because 24 is still off. So I put 24 back, clear 12, we need the lock because it's facing and he can now go in the yard, it's 10 for the yard. I'll probably run to uh, about 9.45 just have that departing it'd be nice to see a west country locomotive anyway even if it's just a number on the on the uh, screen So this will stop as uh, 5001 unless you right click and describe it but we don't need to describe it it's not used for anything else as far as I know if you look through the timetable there's another one to the carry signs oh 225 ah Buffered up to repair coach, right? So there's something else going in there. So there's all sorts of little, little things happening, right? So he's now clearing to the yard. I could put ten back. We've got this passenger train coming towards us. We've still got twelve minutes, but we might as well get the uh, the point set. I'm going to put the crossover back to the yard just so I don't forget it later on, and then we can set the points for platform one. So. It's, unlock points and lock again with 11 so that's all set uh, we've had train intersection a bit in the track circuit shortly there's no reason we can't clear the signals so it's the home signal first uh, out home signal should I say and then the signal into platform 2 which is oh sorry platform 1 which is number 2 We'll get it right. So he should arrive in another another eight minutes or so. So we've got what we've got on the. Uh, you know, I've got no locomotive for that one. It looks like there's two locomotives for that one. 46100 and 2857. So he arrives at 9.23. Uh, the stock forms 2K12 and the loco is OK11 which is this one here so it goes into the uh, yard at 9.47 again for water that's after this one's left of course which is in the other platform
kissed. Time for another cup of tea again while this train's coming in. Oh, spoke too soon. There he is. After this train's arrived, we've got this loco from the yard, which is this West Country shunt to platform one and attached to 2K12, which is the one arriving at the moment. So this one's still left for later, for the 10.30. So the one that's coming in now is the first one to leave. to put the number one seven back if you uh, if you're interested in the history of the location and the local information has got all about the history of the railway when it was opened so about the bridge north itself the station the preservation so quite a lot of interesting information in there as well the uh, the locking details tells you what signal what's where is it going to go and what, whether your signals are required or points reverse or normal if you can't clear a signal having a look at that does help you to determine why Right, so he's, uh, he's just coming into the platform to get out of the box. It started to rain, so I'm going to put my coat on, get out of the box, and uh, pick up the uh, pick up the single line token. These haven't got to walk too far. Right, two can. Uh, you can go back. Uh, got the token. Guard's confirmed. It's complete with tail lamp, so I can send that to section. Right again, there'll be a couple of minutes wait while he's terminating. All the passengers are disgouging off the train. Going on to the footbridge and taking photographs of everything. So the next move we've got is the uh, Loco coming off the train uh, out of the yard for this train, so we can set these points ready. So everything needs to be moved basically. There, that's all set. This one's now terminated, so we can use right click, uncouple, right click on old loco, and we need to call it OK11. Okay which departs at 9.47 so both 
platforms are occupied there's no train on that one that's the stock for 1030 and we've got this arrival and the local would be waiting here at 418 signal ready to cross over although we can't cross over and go beyond this one so what will probably happen is the train leaves yeah the train leaves at 945 and the light engine will actually go behind the train not immediately behind he'll have to stop at the signal but he can move down towards the signal and then when the passengers clear 22 which uh, we'll go through later on so here's the loco coming off the shed this is the west this is the WC Double Valley enormous beautiful locomotive right so let's uh, get him out so points are set 15 signal uh, again let's use shunt 2 stopping by 2 Right, it's breaking behind the signal so we can reset the points. 15. I'm going to move this crossover so it's a good idea to uh, replace the points for the main line after the train's passed, unless you know you definitely need them straight away. Uh, then we need to get him into platform 1, so we need the lock. Unlocking, move the points, and then of course it's the call ahead signal again which is number three. So you can now drop back onto his train and uncouple to the stock. So we'll have an engine at this end coupled and the incoming loco will be down at this end ready to be released. is breaking for the train don't forget to put your calling on so you go back I'm going to leave these points set reverse number 12 because I'll need them for this next train which is departing from platform 1 so again he'll terminate he'll take a while to terminate I'll change the code and then I need to uh, get him to couple up Once it's coupled up, I can then increase the quick time advance to about nine, be about nine forty-four, and cut out a few minutes. There he is, so it's shunting to platform so I can tell him to proceed. So he's buff now buffered up, so we right click again and tell him to couple. So 
So this is Tor Valley West Country coupling up to its stock in platform one and then that's ready to go at 9.45 which is the next movement and we've got the loco which is at this end is going back to the yard then there's one coming out the yard for the other train in platform two so I'll just run this one these two away and then I'll uh, I'll stop the demo there and uh, Right, so we've got him ready now. Let's see if this time compression works. There we go. Look, 9:45. Right, we better get this train offered. So it's class two. It's like a class two. Right, token out to driver and clear the signals. 24 and 22. It's all ready to go now. Off we go, it was right time. The loco which has been released is due to depart at 9.47 so he will not move till that time. Send train intersection as well. Um, I think if you send it too early, it will say incorrect bell signal, but it's uh, approaching the starter, so let's see if it will work. Train intersection, and it does. Notice there's no needle moving after you send train intersection, so it, it is quite easily forgot. Right, we can put 24. If you've got a train going in the same direction, it will not go past that signal until it's been replaced back to danger and cleared again. That's what the drivers are instructed not to do with that. Because the signal was cleared for the for this train. But anyway, he's, he's now moving. So I can put 22 back and now I can clear 24 again and you'll find hopefully this one starts moving there he goes seeing the signal off so he knows it's now okay to go so again we can uh, use a shunt to to go behind number two he's going into the yard I can now change the points which I said I didn't need it to but I do so, so I've got 14 lock them up again I'll just bring this one into the yard and, uh, and leave it there. So we basically run from what's 7.40 to 9.49. So the, I think the demo actually stops at 9, 9.40 so I'm on overtime now. at least it enables you to see I think we've done more or less everything we've just not shunted into the boiler shop but I suspect there's trains do to use that somewhere it's got Ollie Bush Road I'm sure there's a but here we are look there's something later on in the boiler shop so yeah even that bit's used as well so everything's used right let's not forget him he's standing behind number two whistling away wondering what I'm doing so let's put the signal back uh, unlock these points back to normal lock them again and 10 for the so yard so he can now go into the yard and fill with water so the situation we've got now we've got this empty stock in number two forms the 1030 we've got this light engine coming into the yard for water and we've got the passenger train on his way to Hampton load and we've got one coach in the carriage sidings
So we check, do we need to put these points back? I can put 10 back. Do we need to move these points? Uh, no, we've got another movement from the yard at 9.56. Which, oh we've got, yeah these are the two locos coming out of the yard, coupled together. So they just go beyond the gantry, signal gantry and drop back onto the training platform too. Right, so I can put the, so we can leave the points set. We're just waiting for outer section for this passenger. So basically we've got class 2 passengers, but we've also got some class 1s as well. Right, we've got one the, that's the light engine coming out of the yard. I'll just signal him out. Again, shunt to number two. Right, he's stopped now behind the, the gantry. So put the signal back. Put this crossover back and lock it together. Just check the route. He's going into number two platform. It is occupied, so you will need the calling on arm number six. He is arriving at Hampton Load, so we should get our section shortly. There we go. Right. I'll uh, I'll end the I'll end the demo there. So this is just going to couple up to here as we've done before, and then we've got another one coming in at uh, ten eighteen. Describe stockers. All oh, right. So uh, right. I hope you've enjoyed that. This a uh, little bit different. Bridge North. We've got a single line as again with the uh, it's, it's a steam heritage railway. Well, diesels as well, of course. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, we'll see you again the next time. Cheers for now. Bye.